Hey, I'm Gifty Jima. Welcome to Gifty TV, where you learn to cook smart so you can live healthy and love life. There's a belief in many cultures that good cooks are born, not made. That some people just have a natural instinct for cooking. The French call it je ne sais quoi. In Latin America, it's called saison. I just call it bull. Yeah, I said it. I believe that we all have the ability to cook well. Yes, not everybody can be a world-class Michelin star chef, but we can all put together a great tasting meal with the right direction and a little practice. I'll share five doable tips you can use to add tons of flavor to your meals and help you cook like a natural born cook. Tip number one, caramelize. I'm sure you've already heard of this cooking technique, but we don't always use it to our advantage. It's not just a technique for onions and dessert, and it involves more than just browning something. Caramelizing food allows the natural sugars in an ingredient to release and intensify in flavor. For instance, whenever I wanna add, you know, oomph to my scrambled eggs, I caramelize some diced tomatoes and fold them in. The tomatoes end up tasting sweet and bold, and it just makes the eggs even more delicious. Tip number two is add booze. Adding wine or vodka or brandy to a dish delivers a certain flavor to it that just would be missing otherwise. It takes things like, you know, upper notch, adds another layer of flavor, a complexity that gets someone to ask you, what did you put in this? Tip number three, build flavor with your spice rack. This one seems obvious, but I can't stress enough how much dried herbs and spices make a difference in the end result. Adding even the most common ones like garlic powder, dried thyme, or chili, chili flakes instantly makes your food taste better. The secret though is to start building the flavor from the beginning. For example, always marinate your meat, even if you're just adding salt and pepper to it. But do it ahead of time so the flavor can start to develop right away. And remember, the denser the meat, the longer you should marinate. Also, whenever you're frying or sauteing a dish, add the spices at that point. The natural oils and the spices will release and infuse into whatever you're cooking. Tip number four, finish with fresh herbs. Listen, parsley isn't just for decoration. Voila. I know it's tempting to skip the fresh herbs, maybe because you feel like you just don't need it or you feel it's too much of a hassle, but try not to. When you add the right fresh herbs to a dish, it finishes it off beautifully and it adds that extra layer of flavor. Now the key with fresh herbs is to add it right at the end of a recipe. Unlike dried herbs, the flavor of fresh herbs diminishes the longer you cook it. One easy way I love to use fresh herbs is whenever I make roasted potatoes or a quick pasta dish. I toss in a handful of chopped parsley and thyme and it instantly gives it a vibrant, fresh taste. And the last tip is taste it, y'all. This one is huge. It's so important to taste your food while you're cooking it. This is the only way you're gonna know if your dish will taste good in the end. I can't tell you how many times I've had friends tell me they've spent forever cooking something and then were disappointed that it didn't turn out well. I'd ask them if they tasted their food as they cooked it and they would say no. So make sure to dip a finger in the pot or a sample with a spoon before and after your season so you can gauge whether to adjust the flavors or just leave things as is. Of course, these aren't the only ways to add flavor to your meals, but adding these five tweaks to your technique will go a long way. You'll not only add tons more flavor to your food, you'll also start to develop a better instinct when it comes to cooking because by doing these steps, you'll automatically pay closer attention to the cooking process and start to learn, as I call it, how food works. Now, I wanna hear from you. What are some creative ingredients or methods you've used to make food taste awesome? And can you think of one dish that you've had that was so good that you've always wondered how it was made? Head over to giftyjima.com to join the conversation and leave a comment now. And if you love watching these videos as much as I love making them, don't forget to subscribe to Gifty TV by clicking on the subscribe button. And please share this with your friends too. And if you want even more recipes to help you cook smart, live healthy, and love life, make sure you sign up for email updates over at giftyjima.com. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon on Gifty TV.